In this video, you're going to learn how to create a door hardware schedule just like this, that can place alongside your main door schedule in Revit. So here are the 8 steps to create a door hardware set with key schedules. Step number 1. Add hardware parameters. Go to the Manage tab, then select Shared Parameters. Make sure you are using your local Shared Parameters file. We're going to create a group and call it Doors. Then we're going to create a new parameter called Hinges. And make sure to use the text type of parameters. Something optional that you could do is to add a prefix, for example, HS, which stands for Hardware Set, before typing in the name of the parameter, like this. Let's add a final one in this example. Obviously, in your own hardware set schedule, you might have a lot of parameters. That's enough for now. Then you have to add all of these parameters in the project parameters. So go to project parameters, click on add, click on share parameters, and then you have to select all the parameters you've just created. You can group them under materials and finishes and make sure to select the doors categories, just like this. So you have to repeat the same process for the three parameters we've just created. If you want to save some time, you can always use the DIROOTS Pattern Manager plugin, which is great for that and speeds up the process. So let's go back to Project Parameters and add the two missing ones. All right, we now have all of our parameters. Let's go and select the door to see what happens. You can see we have the hinges, the closer, and the lock set parameters that have just been added in the instance properties of each door. Something important to know though, for this to properly work, you have to use Revit 2022. If you are not using Revit 2022, you're using an older version of Revit, you should use project parameters instead of share parameters for each hardware parameter. Step number two, create key schedule. Now go to the view tab and in schedules, select schedule quantities, select the doors category and check the schedule keys box. And we're going to call this door hardware and the key name, we're going to call it hardware set. Now bring in all of your parameters beginning with uh, lock set, typically closer hinges, uh, just like that should be good enough. Let's zoom in a little bit. We can close this one. Step number three, add a row for each hardware group. You can see that the schedule is currently empty. You'll have to click on this tool over here, which is called insert data row. And you can click uh, a couple of times, three times, just like this. And then we're going to format the schedule a little bit by using the center horizontal alignment and vertical alignment as well. You can rename the headers to remove the prefix and make sure that it's all written in cap if that's the style you are using in your project. When that's done, you can start to fill up the schedule. For example, here the lock set might be passage. This one might be storeroom. So you don't have to fill all of it right away. It's You can fill it the moment you have the information. So it's okay to leave some uh, rows empty at the moment. For now, we're going to add, add a few parameters, just like this. All right, so we have three hardware groups are ready to be assigned to doors. Revit Pure pamphlets are free PDF guides breaking down Revit's most confusing topics. Since 2016, we've been releasing four pamphlets a year, each one about a complex Revit feature, like coordinates, scope boxes, blend notes, and railings. The latest pamphlet is about the topic of this video, door schedules. Download the complete collection at revitpure.com pamphlets. Pamphlets have been downloaded by thousands of Revit users around the world. You can share these PDF guides with all of your colleagues, friends, and family. Step number five, add hardware group to main door schedule. Go back to the main door schedule, 
go to the fields, scroll down, and you should find the hardware set parameter. Add it to uh, the scheduled fields. We're going to format this by putting the parameter in all caps. And also, we're going to go to shading to add the same color as the rest of the schedules. Just like this. And finally, setting the uh, alignment like this. Now, for each of the door, you can assign a hardware set number. Like this. Let's say this is number one. This is two. This is two as well. And the last one will be number three. Once that is done, you can go back to a floor plan view and verify what has happened. And you can see for each door, you have the hardware set. So this one is hardware set number two. And you can see the closer and the lock set have been assigned to it. Same thing for all the other doors. So we cannot change these parameters, the hardware components directly. You have to change the hardware set that has been assigned to it. Step number six, place both schedules on sheet. Go to one of the sheet. In this one, we have a pre-made uh, sheet that contains all schedules. We're going to move the door schedule over here, and we're going to place the new door hardware set schedule, just like this, so they're one next to another. So you can see that this number over here, the hardware set, is the same number as over here. So this way, it's pretty easy to link up both schedules together. Step number seven, list all doors from a hardware set group. Something interesting if you want to list all of the doors in a specific hardware set group is that we're going to go to this main door schedule and we're going to duplicate it. And we're going to call it uh, door schedule group for the moment. Go to the fields and we're going to add um, Oh yeah, it is already here. The hardware set parameter is already here. But we're going to sort by hardware set instead of level. Going to keep the header. We can keep itemized every instance. And in formatting over here, we're going to go to hardware set and click uh, activate the hidden field box. So you can see that for each hardware group, all the doors will be listed. Uh, let's go back to the floor plan view and add a few doors to see how that works. So we're going to close all the other views like this. You can see right now we have four doors that have not been assigned to a specific hardware set group. So I'm going to select this one and assign it to a specific hardware group. Again, you can see the change right away in this schedule. So I would say this is probably an internal schedule that you can keep um, in your Revit model to keep track of all the hardware set group in your project, just like this. Step number eight, export and send hardware schedule to consultant. So we're going to go back to this door hardware schedule. And often for architects, especially in big projects, we tend not to do uh, these schedules by ourselves. We tend to use consultants that are specialized in hardware and ask them to fill up the information and set us back. Well, with Revit, uh, you can automate the process by using Excel. A plugin that is free and that I like to use is DiRoot's SheetLink. So going to go there on SheetLink. I'm going to go to the Schedules tab over here and select the door hardware schedule and click on Export and export to the Excel file, like this. So you can see over here, I can modify the information. So for example, let's say this is uh, just going to enter random data. Just to test it, I'm going to save this file, close it, and then import it back. And if I close this, you can see that I've imported and the information I fill up in Excel has been updated. So you can see the change in this schedule. So this is super helpful and convenient if you're working with consultants. Although you must make sure to verify all the information before the import to make sure that you don't lose any data. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to download the complete Revit Pure pamphlets collection 
at revitpure.com slash pamphlets.